Good morning, Kentucky. I'm Sarah Cardona. With the state seeding deadline just about one week away, high school hoops is heating up here in the bluegrass as a handful of teams from the area fight for the chance to play in next month's Sweet 16 at Rupp Arena. Let's tip things off with a doubleheader out in Bourbon County. The Paris girls taking on Scott County, and we're going to jump right into the fourth quarter. Senior Jamie Cowan here with the and one bucket puts the Lady Greyhounds up 17. Cowan would go on to lead all scores in the game with 21. Scott County trying to fight back. Senior Malaya Moore gets the layup and one, but it wasn't enough. The Lady Greyhounds would go on to win big. The final score was 67 to 40. Now to the boys' side of things, Paris hosting Trinity Christian first quarter. Paris creating some offense with its defense as senior Christian Blackwell is there with a tough finish. And later in the game, Greyhounds D forces another steal. And then Trey Morrell goes all the way to the rack for the layup. He finished the game with 12. And the success would continue for the Greyhound senior guard. So Ryan Acorn here with the deep triple puts his team up six. And Paris goes on to pull away and get the win over Trinity Christian. The final was 84 to 61. Now out to Versailles, where the boys at Woodford County hosted Western Hills last night. Ethan Johnson hits the baseline jumper here. That had the Yellow Jackets up early. This game was a back and forth the whole way as Woodford County tried to fend off the Wolverines, who were winners of their last 13. Woodford County would eventually hang on, winning the game 68-64. to into the college game now. Each week you can see Kaysen Wallace simply getting better and better right before our eyes. And again this week he was rewarded with the SEC Freshman of the Week award, marking the star freshman second week in a row with the honor. On Saturday, Wallace scored a team high 20 points and added three blocks in the Wildcats win over Florida. It's the third time this season Wallace has earned this honor. Assistant coach Orlando Antigua credits Wallace on being a sponge when he got to Kentucky, just soaking up all the knowledge he could from the older players on the team. Early on in the season, he would he wouldn't uh, he wouldn't say a lot. He would just listen, like good leaders do. And uh, as he's gotten more comfortable in terms of his own role on the team, being able to communicate and um, talk with their teammates and and uh, share his leadership has been something that this team has needed. And he's stepping up and he's maturing, and, and that's part of his growth. And tonight in Rupp Arena, the Wildcats host another bubble battle. This time it's they're hosting Arkansas after both teams are ranked in the top 10 preseason. Each squad is just 16 and 7 overall and fighting for a spot in the NCAA tournament. Tonight's game will tip off at 9 and can be seen on ESPN. And guys, it should be another electric atmosphere in Rupp tonight. I know. Be, but I'm going to need electric shock to stay awake for it. I, mean, I know. Things start at nine. We all <laughs> <laughs> Truly, if you're an early riser like we are, newly, because Sarah just joining us today for the first time on the morning show. So it takes and some I getting used to. I'm going to have to take a nap. I was, yeah. I was telling Sarah all the positive things that come <laughs> with working this shift. Literally just, right before this. It's wonderful. Today's literally her first day ever working a morning shift like this. And Lee goes, you ever worked this before? She goes, no. And he goes, it's awful. <laughs> well, <laughs> like, 